Hey everyone and welcome back to the Adore Beauty YouTube channel. My name is Amelia. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use everything in your eyeshadow palette. Obviously, you don't have to use these palettes. You can use any one that you have. So a lot of the time we'll buy an eyeshadow palette because we maybe like a certain combination of colors. We like a few colors in there, but usually there's one or two shades or textures that we're not that likely to use. The eyeshadow palette that I've picked to use today is the Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has a lot of really fun purpley pinky shades some pastels, some shimmers, and some mattes. So I thought it would be fun to experiment with that and how to use them on my face without just whacking them on my eyes. And then the other palette that I'm going to use is my Ride or Die Soft Glam. This is definitely more of an everyday eyeshadow palette for me, even though it's just like one color that I wear or two colors max. Let's start on the complexion first. So I'm gonna use the shade Incense, which is this one here. And I'm actually going to use it as a contour. I always contour my nose and my cheeks when I am doing a full glam look. Let's take a little bit on a brush. So that's my nose contour done. What I'm going to do now is actually use another shade called Eccentric, which is this one here. And it's again, another neutral shade, but it is a little bit warmer than the first shade Incense. And I'm going to use that as a bronzer. So what I'm doing is basically going for the neutral shades and I'm going to use them as complexion colors. And then we're going to play with the more vibrant colors on the eyes. So that's given me some really nice color. And now we're gonna go in with blush. And the shade that I'm gonna use is this really pretty pink shade in the middle called Love. So we're gonna take a blush brush. And I am tapping off the excess onto my hand so that I don't go in with too much pigment. I find that eyeshadow palettes are generally a lot more pigmented than like a bronzer or a blush might be. Blushes in their palette, sometimes they're a little bit more sheer, whereas the eyeshadow palettes can be a little bit more full on. So you just wanna go light and then build it up. So then I'm going to have some fun with the shimmers and I'm actually going to take this one here called Wild Child and I'm going to use it as a blush topper. So I'm actually going to put it on top of where I applied the blush and it's going to give me a really nice highlight. And I'm only going to pop it on this side so that we can play with soft glam on the other side of my face. So taking Wild Child on the blush brush. And you don't need to put it exactly on where you've applied the blush. You can pop it just like in a highlight area or you can just do what I've done. So then now let's go on to the eye colors. I'm going to use the shade Soul, which is this one here. And it's a really pretty sort of periwinkle blue shade. So you can always use your fingers to apply eyeshadow. There's zero rules or you can use a brush like I'm going to do. So I'm just using a fluffy brush, just taking that color. I haven't prepped my lids with anything. I don't have an eyeshadow primer on or concealer or anything like that. I'm just going straight onto the skin. If your eyelids are more on the oily side or you find that your eyeshadows tend to move a little bit, then I would go in with an eyeshadow primer first. Now we're going to take the shade Celestial and I'm just going to use my finger and I'm gonna pop it into the inner corner of the eyes. And then just taking it up a little bit. And if you've put too much on, that's okay. You can just clean it up with a little bit of micellar water and concealer. I'm going to leave it just because I think it's a little bit fun. Another way to play with a shade that I wouldn't normally wear is to turn it into an eyeliner. So I will use this Napoleon Purtis product and this is their Pro Power Eyeliner Sealer. And this will help to turn any powder product like an eyeshadow or a blush into a liquid. I'm going to use one more eyeshadow color, actually. Let's use the shade Summer, this one here for gold. And we're just going to pat it 
through the center of the lid and we're going to take it up a little bit higher and that creates a little bit of dimension on the eyes and then while we're here we're just going to use one of the lighter shades in the shade dreamer and i'm just going to put it right here as a highlight this is just a really fun way to get the most out of your eyeshadow palettes and to kind of be a little bit more experimental, have more fun with the colors that you have, get out of your comfort zone and not waste these beautiful eyeshadows. Now let's move on to soft glam. Obviously I've done the contour and blush. Let's do this color here, rose pink, and let's use that as like a blush topper. And that has completely changed the blush color. So I'm gonna play with the black shade called Noir and we're gonna use that as an eyeliner. So I'm going to take this guy from Napoleon and you can either scrape out your eyeshadow with a little spatula or your brush and pop it onto a palette, a mixing palette, or the back of your hand or a mirror, whatever you have. Or you can drop it into the palette like I'm going to do. You can also use like any of the shades that match your hair color to fill in your brows. I have done that before when I've forgotten a brow product. I've just used an eyeshadow and an angled brush and I've just filled in my brows. So actually let's do that now so you can see. So I'm just taking the 7B brush from Anastasia and we're gonna take the shade Cypress Umber. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the black with it to cool it down. See, so it really softly filled it in. Also, if you're like me and you have a little bit of like, not bald spots, but just, you know, like those little bits that don't have as much hair in them and you kind of wanted to make your hairline look more full, you can take a brush, pick a shade that matches, tap off the excess, and then you can just fill in the hairline. So now let's move on to the gold shade. Let's have some fun with that. So let's take this guy and I'm gonna pop a little bit into the eyeshadow. I'm just doing one drop because I just wanna start small and see how I go. An eyeshadow brush, nice and thin one. Started to have a little bit of like a creamy texture to it. I mean, look, we're really testing my skills here. I'm not very creative when it comes to doing little designs on my face. So I'm just trying to do maybe like little stars. I have no idea, but that's why it's fun because you can just experiment and do whatever you like. Like you could do dots if you wanted to, you could do little love hearts. You get the idea, just Draw whatever you like on your face. Um, now let's move on to the black eyeliner. So I popped a little bit of the eyeliner sealer into my um, Soft Glam palette and I just took my brush and mixed it around a little bit. My camera's dying, so this is just, you know, as complicated as it's gonna get. <laughs> bit random, but that's it. So let's wrap this video up before my camera dies again. But those are some fun ways to get the most out of your eyeshadow palettes. So let's quickly go through some of the tips again. So you can use your palette as a bronzer. You can use it as a contour, a blush, a highlighter. You can use it as a brow powder, an eyeliner. You can use it as a cheek topper, an eyeshadow, obviously. Have fun with the colors, have fun with the textures. And at the end of the day, just remember that it is makeup. So if you make a mistake or you hate it, you can always clean it off. So that's it. I hope you guys got some cool tips and tricks out of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me badly drawn a star. <laughs> I will see you in another video soon. Take care. Bye.